ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel I am the Ink Northerner and today I thought I would try something similar along the lines of my Xbox 360 purchases from Music Magpie I noticed when looking around YouTube there is a channel called Retro Games Revived I'll leave a link in the um, in the description to the channel and on Retro Games Revived the, the, per, the person on Retro Games Revived does a thing called One for Sorrow, Two for Joy, where he purchases things off of Music Magpie uh, and sort of rates them as, as they are. I'm not going to do it in that sort of style. What I will do is I'll go through the, the games that I've purchased um, and just rate them as, as a hit or a miss. Um, sort of a semi homage to, to the One for Sorrow, Two for Joy, um, but we'll do it as hit and miss. Um, so I purchased. I think it's 16 games from Music Magpie as part of their um, the deal that they've got running at the moment, which is four for eight pound or I think it's two for five pound. Um, uh, these are games that were on my list to play. Some of them I do own on the 360, but I, I will be um, I will be playing on the PS3 as well. Um, so I've taken my address off them, anything that's identifiable. Um, so without further ado, we'll get on. All I've done is open the envelopes. I don't know what state these are in. Um, so we'll get on and start with the single envelope. So first on the list um, is Dishonored. Now I have played the Dishonored series on my Xbox. Um, again, I apologise for the for the glare. I'm recording this a bit later at night and. Um, I've got to have the light on. Um, what I am going to try and do is get some. The next thing on my sort of hit list is to buy some uh, some streaming lights. Um, so yeah, uh, Dishonored series, good stealth action um, game. This comes complete with manual, um, and the disc has zero scratches on it. If it wasn't for the bit of dust, I would assume that that was a brand new disc. Um, all in all. Given that the case is fine, I would say that's a hit. And next, so out onto the bigger envelope, um, which my postman kindly left in my blue bin uh, and, and posted a note through my, my door. Luckily, that it wasn't recycling day today. Um, so, next on the line, we have Fear 2 Project Origin. Now, I haven't actually booted up the Fear games yet, uh, I own them on the 360. I'm starting to get them for the PS3. I want to get all three plus fear files, I think it is, and then play them one after another. Um, so whichever one I get them on, whichever console I get them on first, I'll uh, I'll, I'll play them through on that. Uh, again, complete with manual, um, disc, some fingerprints. Again, zero scratches. Um, case is is fine. I, I put that in the hit category again. So, what do we have next? Uh, again, the games that I own on the 360, um, I, I just decided I'm going to buy these for the, the PS3 as well. Um, so, this is The Darkness, or Darkness, um, by 2K Games. Um, by all accounts, it's sort of a, a third person, uh, sorry, a first person um horror stroke action type game like a first person shooter but with horror elements um i, I haven't I, I haven't played them on my, my 360 either i only got them a few weeks ago and i've just not got around to, to playing it um complete with manual um disc is again just fingerprints and the the odd scratch uh, bit of dirt on the case nothing much it looks like it's had a label on it I'll get some um, some sticky stuff remover and get that off but again I, I would class that as a as maybe a hit um, I'll leave it separate just in case it is the weakest of the bunch now these games are games that I've played uh, played the this and and um, New Vegas and four um, out of them all New Vegas is my favorite this is Fallout 3, um, again complete with manual, has an insert uh, for Fallout New Vegas in there which was coming in 2010 so Fallout New Vegas is a 10 year old game, uh, very very dusty disc, 
just see if I can take that dust off. No, it's going to need some some rubbing alcohol on that to take that off. Bit sort of mouldy-ish in the in the case. <laughs> it's not mould, but you know, sort of like a like it's been sat somewhere for quite a while. There's no water damage to the case or anything. Again, I'll put that with the darkness as a as a hit, but possibly um, close to a miss. Um, now, a series of games that came out on the PC originally. Um, uh, this was panned when it first came out, um, but we have Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, it's a sort of uh, first person um, shooter action type game. Uh, disc, apart from fingerprints, is spot on. It's complete with manual. There's a little, little knock out of the case. Um, just out of the plastic, nothing, on, no problem with the artwork. Um, I'm going to class that as a hit. See. Um, so, what are we moving on to now? Uh, it, incidentally, it's a, um, a game that I, I was watching some footage of today. It's the better one of the two. I think I probably bought both of these for uh, both of these in this this video. Uh, if not, I'll explain what the other one is in a in a second. Uh, this is Aliens vs Predator. Um, again, I, I believe it's a it's a action game where it's a in the first person. You can play as aliens, you can play as a predator, and also marines. Um, I'm not I've not played it. As I say, I was watching some of the footage today, and it, it looks like a very decent action type game. Uh, again, tiny tiny notch couple of notches out of the uh, the case it's complete with manual um, disc apart from a couple of smudges again is is good for those couple of knocks I'm uh, in fact is the case broken oh it's just the way I was closing the case um, I'll put that on the hit maybe hit pile uh, next up so Games that I what I wasn't a big fan of this series. I'm going to admit a lot of people are probably going to slate me for that, but um, uh, it it's not one of my favourite games. It has the game sticker sort of seal on it. it looks like it's come where well, it's come from game obviously, uh, and this is Borderlands Two. So I own one and two on my 360, but I've I've not played two. Um, again, I couldn't really get into one. Um, a few smudges on the disc, complete inbox with manual, case is perfectly fine. I'm going to pull that as a hit. Right, so next, a game I know nothing about, um, one game of the year for best artistic design according to the sticker on the front, um, Sony exclusive, that is Genji, Days of the Blade. I think I purchased this because I needed to make up um, one of the discs. Uh, again, a few smudges on the disc, but no scratches whatsoever. Completing box with manual. Looks like a sort of third person samurai type action game. Master of the Ancient Art of Sword and battling vast hordes of enemies on foot. Uh, I'll, I'll put it on, see what it's like. Um, but yeah, uh, that's in perfect condition. Once again, I'm going to say hit. So, next up, another series of games I'm going to confess I've not been a big fan of the them since sort of PlayStation 2 era. Um, but I have GTA 4. Uh, I bought GTA 5 for Xbox One a couple of days ago. Um, put it in just to see, you know... If I can pique my interest, um, it's complete in box with manual and map, um, disc, uh, fingerprint smudges, but again, no scratching. Um, case is in excellent quality. I, li I must admit, I like the emboss of the, the Grand Theft Auto 4 logo on the front. Um, case is, is great. I'm gonna have to get in, back in, and start playing the um, 
playing the GTA games again. Might have to put four on um, and just to see what what it's what it's like. So so far we're at two, four, six hits, six hits, three that are I would say aren't misses, but would still there's a couple of bits wrong with them. Ah. So again, game series I've played on the 360. I own Saints Row 4 for the 360. My grumbles there were no manual. So, given that it has no manual, it's a relatively popular game. I might try and pick a copy of it up when I'm in CEX and keep the case as a donor. Um, but I'm going to definitely classify that as a miss due to the fact that there's no manual with it. Uh, and I highly think, I'm, I may be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure there should be a manual with that. So, Next on the list again, game I own for the 360, created by Bethesda, uh, Bethesda I believe, or the publisher ID ID software or the creators, and that is Rage. So it's a first person sort of shooter game. Again, it has to go down as a miss because no manual. Um, I'll have to check my 360 copy of it to see if there's a manual with it, but I'm pretty sure it should come with a manual. It's a shame as well because it's got some, the case is in perfect condition, some excellent internal box art, um, but I'm afraid no manual puts that on the miss pile. So, ha, ah, um, game, uh, so I, I'll just show it, um, this is Borderlands the pre-sequel, I'm hoping to get all, all three, um, and just play through them one after another, try and get back into them. Uh, completing box with manual, cases in great nick, few smudges which I assume is from people checking the disc and then putting it back. Um, so again, game seal on it. Um, case is great, has to go down as a hit. I think we're down to four remaining and I can't remember what any of these are. Um, I bought this I, I've played this on 360 once again um, I bought this because I'm, I'm going to play through it and get the trophies on the on the PS3 and that is Bioshock uh, great series of games um, I haven't played Infinite I need to, to get round to that it's a couple of smudges on the disc um, but again complete inbox and has some excellent internal artwork um, it's a first person shooter game a um, bit of stealth involved I remember it being pretty eerie when I first played it so so again got to put that down as a hit cases and everything's in, in there and it's in excellent condition series of games I played the the older ones for oh, sorry but played the older ones of um, I'm pretty sure I purchased this on the 360 because it's now backwards compatible which means it'll go backwards compatible to the Series X um, can't remember whether I have I did purchase it or not I'm sure I did but I, I'll have to have a look at that um, it's uh, sorry Prince of Persia the 2008 game uh, case once again excellent condition complete in box with manual uh, fingerprint smudges again but no scratches on the disc it, it's got to go down as a as a hit again <clears throat> it's two games left in this um, and then I'll sum up where we're at a series of games that I've played when they first came out I don't really remember them um, but again I bought these two to have PS3 and, and 360 versions and this is Army of Two. Um, again, completing box with manual case is in good condition for what you would what you would expect. Fingerprint smudges and one hair. Um, excellent condition. Once again, it's got to go down as a as a hit. And um, last but not least. Um, a series of games again I think started on the PlayStation 2 I own some of them on the PS2 uh, 
This one is Brother in Arms Hell's Highway. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got it for 360 as well. Um, again, completing box with manual cases in good condition. Um, a few fingerprint smudges on the disc, but again, nothing majorly wrong with that. Uh, again, I've got to put that down as a hit. Now, I'm not saying that these games are great games. Um, these are just games that I wanted to pick up, wanted to play. Some of them, I've, I've, as I say, I've played on 360 and just want to play through them on the PS3. Built some of my trophies up for the PS3. Um, all in all, we got 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, which are classified as, as hits. Actual good, good condition hits. 3 mm, that are, are just verging on being in the hit, but there's a couple of things wrong with them and two that have to go down as misses because there are no manuals with them. Um, the games aren't expensive, so like I said, I'll probably pick up a copy of them cheap, maybe in CEX when I'm walking past. Um, try and get a copy with, with manual. Um, but yeah, that is the Music Magpie buys that I, I purchased for the, the PS4. I put out one for the 360 not so long back. Um, once again, thank you for, for tuning in. If you would like to subscribe, please subscribe. Um, I am the Ignorant, and I'll catch you on the next one.